Guys, this is going to be exciting. You've got Zane Navratil in the orange onyx shirt and Noah Waddell, the lefty expertise over here on the far side. And Noah's going to start off serving here. Boy, that's, uh, a, that's a friendly roll. We've seen a, a quite a, a few of those today. A lot of them. I don't know if it's the, like the condensation on the nets from the rain earlier or what, but it seems like that ball just wants to stick on there and kind of roll. Give us, give us some of those roll shots, right? I always like the friendly rolls. Yeah. Nobody likes the ball that hits the net and doesn't go over. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a uh, nice shot there by Zane. So I think the rally scoring can actually play to the advantage of Noah if, if um, Noah's playing well because Noah is a kind of a hot, hot or cold type mm -hmm. player. When yep. he's hot, he's super hot and on fire. And when he's cold, he's cold. So if the rally scoring is in his favor mm -hmm. um, or it plays to his favor, he, he could potentially upset Zane here. Wow. It's a great shot. Just caught that corner, too. And again, like, the reason you see kind of, like, the looks on their faces sometimes when they were the ones serving and missed that is because they lose the point mm -hmm. and the ball. So that's why you see that look on their face at times. It's a harsh punishment for losing, for missing your serve and rarely scoring. <laughs> it kind of is, you yeah. know? Well, I was talking to Zane before the match, and he was trying to decide if he wanted, you know, serve or side. With the rally scoring, it's kind of tough because either, you know, you have a really good serve that sets the point up, mm -hmm. but if you don't, it's actually very difficult to score while serving unless you hit a good passing shot. I yeah. completely oh, agree. Wow. Just speaking of a good passing well, shot. Yeah. <laughs> speaking of passing shot. Right on cue, it. Zane hit that right when she said it. You know, that's such a good point, guys, because in singles, I mean, you you – to get to the high level, you need an aggressive serve, and with an aggressive serve comes higher risk. Well, when it's rally scoring, that higher risk becomes an even greater risk because you'll lose the point. So it definitely switches the whole dynamic. I know we've talked about it a lot, but I don't think we can drive that point home. Yeah, and I think I'm excited to see Tyson play because I want to see if Tyson tones his serve down just a little yeah. or if he's going to just go for broke every time on his serve and try to win those points quick. So um, knowing that he takes the risk of siding out and losing that point. Well, I'm sure you guys have said this before, but even the serving, you know, player, you know, you're able to take more risk without the rally scoring and be a little bit more aggressive, shoot for line shots. And today it's like, I'm not sure I want to do that. I would just want to keep the ball in. Correct. And real quick side note, uh, Zane, Zane's asking some questions. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, he seemed a little concerned about something. I'm not sure if they had a disagreement. I, I think it might have been the score that was called. He uh it was wasn't, the, it was the wrong score. Wow, what a shot. But see, that's what Noah has the ability to do. And sometimes when he hits a ball like that and wins that point, he'll catch fire mm -hmm. and he'll get going. And it'll, it, it's like he feeds off that energy. Mm -hmm. I've actually, the last tournament I played here in July, I was on the other court behind him as he was playing, and you could hear in the background, yeah, come on, because he, he gets into it, man, and he gets pumped up. But when he's but when he's down, yeah. he's down and out. Like but so that's why I'm saying the rally scoring actually could play to his his benefit. How old is Noah? Noah just turned eighteen a few okay. months ago. And actually is in college at a Oh my gosh, what a what another amazing effort by Noah. Yeah, but he but Zane called that ball wide. Oh he, oh he did. Yeah, Zane called that ball wide. Okay. Out. We actually didn't have a good angle, so we, we couldn't see it. Yeah, it was hard to see from here. Yeah, that ball was called out by Zane. I, I actually, looking at the replay, I do believe that that was actually a good call. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Five. Hold on. Five, six. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do actually believe that Zane did make the right call there. Yeah, I do too. I mean, it's harder from this angle to see but once we saw that camera yeah and you can't fault Noah for getting excited because he thought he hit a, a winner after battling that whole point so I, I honestly believe the rally scoring makes the players play just a little more um just tight at first yeah it's uh they don't want to mess up a little bit because you're yeah, you, just a little bit more worried about especially on the serving side where you can like i said be a little bit more aggressive um and now every point is but what's crazy is like if if you play oh good plot good point by zane right there to put that ball away but like if you play tight you're actually going to mess up more. Totally. I totally agree. And the other thing is, you know, it kind of gets in your head a little bit because you're lined up to where you think you're supposed to be serving or receiving. 
and because we're not used to because you're not used to that yeah mm -hmm. no i agree 100 percent. and we've seen that actually play out a couple times where even like in the first point with um between Frank Anthony Davis and William Sobeck, William got confused. He saw, he lost the point, sure. and he lined up as if it was 0-0. Well, actually, it was 1-0 because he lost that point after the serve. So um, it is – I look, I, I have mixed emotions and mixed feelings, but at the end of the day, this is what they've chosen to go with right. in the format. And as a professional, you have to figure out a way to, to get around your feelings of, of whatever. Like, you just have to figure it out. And the ones that do are going to come away with the money. Yeah, and that comes back to mental toughness, especially of some of these top players where skill is so close. Um, and, you know, ability is, is very similar. Uh, who's going to have the mental toughness it takes to get it through the day? Let's see if we can catch the score or the scores on the screen. <laughs> Looks like it's eight six. Eight, eight, six. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Noah, actually, or six eight. Six eight. Yeah. Okay. So that would have played out just like in normal. Okay. But let's say this next point now it's seven eight. Let's say that Zane doesn't win this, so he sides out and is down nine seven at that point. So that didn't play out that way. But I'm mm. just giving you example of like how different this is as, as far as the Riley scoring. All right. So now it's eight eight. Zane playing extremely yes. well down a stretch here. Yeah, yeah doing I'm what we call sending the serve for the boys right now. Mm, I like that. Yeah, that's actually yes. one I've never heard. I love that. Which means serve it as hard and deep as you can. So, I like it. <laughs> I mean, that's basically what he told me to do today, and I tried to send it for the boys. I actually thought you were sending it for the boys <laughs> quite a few times there. All right, so it's nine nine. Oh, man, those are so close. Yeah. They're hard for us to see, honestly. Like, I'm not even going to try to guess if that ball was in or out. Oh, we right, got here we 10, go. 9. Gucci Zane with the serve. I love the Gucci Zane. Did he call it out? Okay, so, so we got 10-10. Ten, ten. Boy, that's a good serve. It's right on the line. Boy, it was deep as you can get it. Boy, what a point. Zane going sideline to sideline. Oh, wow. He, he knew it mm -hmm. as soon as he hit it. I think this would be a great timeout opportunity. Yeah, I, I would have. Oh, what a get by Zane there. Wow. Man, they are battling. Golly, that is, I mean, wow. that's intense, that's guys. That's yeah. intense. Very intense. Yes. All right, so I don't think either player makes any adjustments here. I no? think they go into game two the same way, slugging it out, battling back and forth. Um, that was that was heated. Yeah, they're both playing their game, their way. I wouldn't change a thing. I honestly think it just comes down to, again, a matter of inches. This was no different than when we saw... Uh, Lucy and Irina out there. Just, it's just a game of inches, and that's it. Cass, now that you're a pro singles player, what is uh, yeah. what were your thoughts on that first match? Uh, exactly what you said. <laughs> yeah. Everything yeah. about that. All right. Well, we were talking about line judges today too, and when it comes to money, you know, possibly having line judges, especially because some of these calls are so tight. But the line judges, uh, you know, bless their hearts, are usually volunteers, you know, from the tournament. And sometimes, you know, it's not always the right call from them, too, because they get a little caught up in the point. Yeah, I agree. So, um, you know. <laughs> yeah, we saw, we saw that play out firsthand, didn't we, Eddie? Um, sometimes it's helpful. And like I said, I appreciate them volunteering and being awesome. But it's very hard to just stare at the line and not get involved in the point. He, yeah, Eddie, point. Eddie talked about that earlier. Yeah. Staring at a line for that long <laughs> of period of time. I couldn't easy. do Human it. Human beings are not meant to do that. And we also make mistakes. Totally. No, I agree. I agree. All right, guys, we're into game two. Early lead for Gucci Zane. See, but that's the points right there that I mm -hmm. think Noah has to come out with to be able to 
take game two, like you can't miss that shot right there. Yeah, you really can't miss that shot. Because now you're 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 down two zero mm. and you had an opportunity to get a point and the ball back. So um but but I see what the pros are talking about when, when they talk about the it neutralizes the serve and the return because honestly like it doesn't matter if you're serving now. Right. Like you just gotta be able to put the ball over the net and if you take a risk hitting a monster serve and you miss it, mm, that's gonna that's like that's a bad thing. So this is the second match for these two, correct? Second game. Mm -hmm. Right. Game for these two playing against each other. Correct. But they have played previously. No, against this is Okay, this, this is, is the first match like the of the game for both of them. We're into day. the first round of the pool play. Okay. Um, but this is their second game. We saw Frank Anthony Davis and William Sobeck for the very first match. Gotcha. Which we have 10, looks like 10 competitors in men's open pro singles. Well, and that's just for this. Oh, for all for all of them. Yes, that's correct. Or is that just Flight B? We have five oh, in Flight B. Yes, we have 10 total, and then in Flight B we have four. Five. And I think we have... Uh, let's see. 18 total. Gotcha. Holy cow. That's yep. a lot more than I thought. Okay, this is fun. Yeah. Um, what's actually pretty awesome about this tournament is they are actually paying 16 ways. So. <laughs> can you can you elaborate on that at all? Do you know any details? The, I would have to. Let's see. I can get the. We're going to let her pull that up yeah. in the meantime. I'm curious to see what Cass is referring to here. Yeah, 16 different ways. That's pretty fantastic. Yeah, so the top 16 is all you have to make it into. And let's take a look at this prize money here. <clears throat> okay, so it looks like for the pros, men singles, first place is 4,000. I tell you what, we'll do this in just a second. Let's watch the match, and then we'll talk about this in a yeah. second. We're teasing it. Yeah, we're, te we're, we we're just teasing threw a little teaser out there, <laughs> so you're going to have to hang out here. with us for a little bit longer. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that was unfortunate. That ball looked like it was going to come over, and it just didn't. Zane with a smile on his face, but just almost a look of, like, disgust that that ball didn't roll over for him. Well, it's because he can walk to that baseline knowing that he is Gucci Zane. <laughs> it's very true. Yeah. Oh, what a, oh, what a shot what a by shot. Noah. That is instant replay worthy right there. Noah, a little self-talk there from Noah, said smart plays, Noah. So yeah. he's giving himself some affirmation and some reaffirming of – like, I just need to play smart. He's got the skills. Mm -hmm. He's got the ability. He can hang with the top guys. I tell you, his, his one-handed backhand reminds me of Nadal. The way he strokes that ball like that with the left. Lefties have a unique style and, and way of hitting. And he re reminds me a lot of how Nadal hits his backhand. And I think right now uh, Noah's doing a better job at getting it more towards Zane's backhand. Yes. And I think Zane is trying to get it to that side of the court, and Noah is just so fast that he's able to run around all of these shots. He's not able to get to the backhand of Noah right now. But look, but you see he's tired because he, he's calling a timeout right now. Yeah, I mean, watching the two come off the court right now into the little player's area, you can tell that Noah's a little bit more winded than Zane. Zane seems to... Have broken a light sweat, but I feel like he could do this all day long. I can tell you right now, Gucci Zane doesn't get tired. No. <laughs> He's a machine. No. Gucci Zane does not tire. Well, he played. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry, Cass. <laughs> I think that's another good point about the rally scoring is the stamina. I mean, you if, if you had a game that goes to 11 and you don't have rally scoring, the games are going to be a lot longer where, yes, these points are crazy, but can you imagine if it wasn't rally scoring right now? Well, and I don't know if you heard my interview with Frank Anthony Davis, but he wasn't negative about the rally scoring. He just simply said, it doesn't play to the benefit of my style. And I actually appreciated that because – he grinds people out and takes them into the deep end, and with rally scoring, he's not able to do that as as much. Right. And that's the thing is that did his style become that because scoring was always the way it was before, right? I, I believe so, yeah. And he knew he knew there's something different about him. Mm -hmm. You know, he's able to grind people out, uh, grind them down, and, and wear them out. A little bit of visible frustration from Zane. Cass, talk about. Um, his mental toughness, though, like he—he's not a guy that just breaks and and crumbles easily, right? No, uh, he's 
got awesome physical toughness, and um, I think right now he's getting some of the shots that he wants, and you're seeing a little bit of frustration just simply because he's not um, executing on the, those shots. I like so. that word, execution. So again, it's just tough. You miss a serve, and it's not just a miss serve. It's a point and a side out. It's just. <laughs> I think the times that we see the most like frustration is when somebody misses a serve. I mean, it's a hot mess all rolled up into one. It really is, and I think the funniest part about it is that like you're you're not only being punished for missing the serve, but then they're like, you know what? We're gonna pour some salt on that wound and just give the point yep. to the other guy. Yep. And here's a point to their play. Yep, hundred <laughs> percent. Which to us, it's easy to laugh because we're over here in the shade doing commentary but for them it's not so funny so. right well and people have different concepts or thought processes on the serve and missing a serve some people are oh you should never miss a serve but in my opinion if you are you know serving and you're serving aggressively and you're getting you know six shots set up the way that you want them with short returns to or the one miss to the one miss yeah, six to know. one ratio for anybody that's from alabama right. and can't do math no, i'm just joking <laughs> i'm from alabama but missing two serves a game or so, I don't think is the end of the world when you're setting up the points that you want. Even with the rally scoring? Rally scoring makes it a little bit tougher. Um, yeah, because cause are you not are you guys not curious to watch Tyson McGuffin? Because he, he's got, the, in my opinion, the biggest serve in pickleball. Maybe Ben Johns is up there with him too. But, like, I would say Tyson has been known for a while for the biggest serve. So, like, I'm curious, does he tone it down? Right? Does he does he pull off the throttle a little to make sure he's more consistent, or does he just go for broke like he normally does and hope that he doesn't miss any of them? Well, I think that's exciting. What's exciting about this new system, regardless of what people think of it or not, is we get to see the pros play, and are they going to change their strategy, or are they going to play the same way that they've always played? Right. All right, we're back to the action, guys. I think Noah just got a little too excited on that two-handed backhand there. Yeah, that. Oh, that was so, game. Wow. That was it, though. Oh, I apologize. I did not realize that was match point. All right, so that's a wrap, guys. We got Gucci, Zane, and Navratil taking uh, the games in two against Noah Waddell. Um, oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. They're going to a game three. We got a game three? Boy, I am, it's been a long day, apparently. Yeah, welcome me. to the match, Scott. Right. Yes. I got to tell you guys, <laughs> I actually didn't know what I was talking about right there. Not even in the slightest. Do you want to know what's got? I never know what I'm talking about. I just make it up as I go. So. You do a great job of that, by the way. <laughs> I'm good at faking it. Oh, oh yeah. This would be a great opportunity right now to talk about the prize money that oh, Cassandra touched on. Oh, yeah. So let's go ahead and just go over that. So for the men's pro – I'm sorry, just the men's singles, first place is going to be $4,000. That's not a bad day at the office. I mm -hmm. know. Uh, Second place – $2,000, also not a bad day at the office. Well, and pause for a second. If you think about first place, some of these top players, not only are they getting $4,000, but if they have sponsors, they're also getting matched. For singles. For anything. Right, but but in doubles, you would split the 4000 then get it back to 4000 right. But in singles, you're winning 4000 and keeping every dollar. So that could possibly be an $8,000 day. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I would like to grind out <laughs> My matches. I, I know what I'm doing now, day in and day out for the next six months. All I'm going to do is play pickleball. So that way I can singles? even have the shot. Sit fine, single, whatever. Why yes. don't me and you yeah. hire Frank Anthony Davis to come down to Naples and grind it out with us Let's every single day? The problem is I'd have to quit my job, and then I wouldn't be able to pay for it. So. Oh, crap. Okay, know. we're out. Yep. I'm out, too. Because Frank Anthony, I'm sure I'm sure he, he would charge us a lot. Yes, he would. All right, we'll get back to that in a second. I do know third place is 1600 so... 4,000, 2,000, 1,600. Those are not bad payout numbers. I uh, know. That's actually pretty good. You'll have to stick with us one more game to find out what the rest of the numbers are. Yes. But also keep in mind, guys, that these flights that we're watching, only the top two players from each fight make it to the opportunity to win money. So let's just make be clear on that. I mean, he can just rip that ball. Both of them can. Absolutely. Z Zane is incredibly strong for such a nimble guy. Yeah, Zane played um, college tennis at UW-Whitewater out of Wisconsin for four years. And then I think assisted coaching um, you 
know, for a year after that as he was starting to get into pickleball. You make it sound like he's like 32. He, the, I, I think he's only 22, right? He's 23? 24. 24. 24. I just 23. I met him at 22, I think is what it was. Yes. And I'm guessing Noah has a tennis background? You know, actually, I think he does. Um, but he's also a, a world-class piano player for anybody that doesn't know that. That's very exciting stuff. He's actually got a full ride scholarship to a college in Georgia for his piano skills. Oh, he tried to switch to the right hand. Did anybody see that, or was that just me there? No, I, that definitely. I I was shocked by it. I was still trying to figure out what happened there. Yeah, he went for it, but you know, it doesn't seem like he was very comfortable doing no. that. So maybe he should not go that route. But I think he did it out of maybe necessity. Looks like Zane is slowly kind of taking control of this second and third game. And you know what? I think we've seen that a lot today where in game three, I think a lot of that true talent comes out. It rises to the surface, right? The people that can really push through and get to that point. For you know, sure. Separate themselves from the rest of the pack. Well, and it takes a little bit to kind of figure out your strategy and execute uh, to, to, to win, especially with this rally scoring with how quick it goes. You better figure it out fast. Yeah, yeah, I agree. You, you, know. you can't dilly-dally nope. in t pro singles uh, with yeah. the rally scoring. No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Way to get in there. Sorry, <laughs> Scott is looking around for a reaction to that. <laughs> I was waiting on my boy yeah. Eddie to come through, and he just wasn't. That's what happens eight hours into the commentary. You know, I Are think we? if people weren't waiting for the prize money here, I don't know <laughs> if we would have any viewers right now. I'm pretty sure we wouldn't. <laughs> But you know what? We're having fun, and that's what's important. That's true. If you have Cass in the booth along with Eddie, you're going to have fun. Holler. Well, and you too, Scott. Well, yeah, you're all you right. Know, I'm all right. cool. But these two right here next to me, these are the, the real MVPs. We're having a good old time. You guys are uh, in the southwest Florida area or central Florida area. A quick drive here to the Pickleplex. You should come on by. Check it out. You can get tickets to watch some of the top pros in the sport here. And uh, we're very lucky. We get front row seats. Yeah, you know, we really are lucky. <laughs> Literally front row. I, I yeah. told you this earlier, and I still stand behind it. I would rather be nowhere else than Punta Gorda, Florida, or Fat Spot, like you said. Fat Point. Oh, Fat Point. Fat Sorry. Point. Yep. Then, then with you here. I agree. That's a great shot by Noah, by the way. He's got a nice, ro like his forehand roll is is very very smooth. Yeah, that's just too good. Zane able to take control of that non volley zone and just hit the ball deep and make Noah run side to side. That's that's a. Uh, a great strategy right now that he's utilizing. It's nine nine to four. With the uh, new U.S. Open split age division, this is kind of fun. Uh, Zane is actually playing with his father, Dennis. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, who who would be uh, obviously senior pro. Is, is he a senior pro? That's I, I did hear he's a good player. Yeah, he's a he's a great player. Um, actually, that's how Zane, you know, learned the game in tennis, and um, it's pretty exciting that they are going to able be able to play together at such a large event. Are you are you playing in that as well? I am. Uh, it's it's very awesome that they did that. I think it was none of us really knew what was going on until the last minute. Um, Cause I actually had uh, Zane lined up and Taylor Uhl from Minnesota. So I am now playing with Chuck Feinstein. I know. You can't go wrong with can't old Chuck. Can't go wrong with that. That's a and, win. Uh, Claire Graber. Oh yeah, Claire Graber. Uh, I actually played against Claire in the World Pickleball Open. Well, oh. I didn't play against her, but she was at that tournament. Sure. Um, she's so fun. I love her accent. Yeah, she's she's awesome. I met her at the airport in, at Nationals when we were headed back, and she she was so funny. She said, "You were the last person I saw at the airport before I left," and she said, that, "And I didn't see anybody after that. I was at the bar the whole time after yeah. that." <laughs> That's good yeah. play by both players. Um, 
both very young athletic guys putting on a show for us here in men's open pro singles. Um, I, I just appreciate the effort that goes into this by all these players. Yeah, I mean, usually you start off in the earlier matches, kind of build up to the final matches, but we saw some incredible talent out there right now. And Unbelievable. I don't think either one of them were holding back and saving it for these later matches at all. They came full force. We had three incredible games there. I'm excited to see what the, what the rest of this event holds for us today. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to doing an interview with Zane and uh, Noah, and I will be right back to the action. Stay tuned, guys. We'll be back. All right, guys. We are back to the live interviews here in Punta Gorda. I've got my buddy Gucci Zane. What's up, Zane Navratil? How are you? What's going on? And uh, listen, I want to hear your thoughts real quick on your first match with Rally Scoring at the Pro uh, Division. What is it like trying to get prepared for that mentally? Sure. Well, I played on uh, Gizmo's court over there a little bit earlier, but uh, mentally, I don't know. I, I don't mind it. I like the fact that every point counts, and so that way you have to you really have to focus every point um, more so than normal, I guess. Although I'm sure it would help to focus every point normally. That's what I was going to ask. Is like, do you not focus as much? There's a lot more pressure on it when uh, when you there is a point on the return. So, do you feel that you like mentally? Do you try to stay engaged the whole time um, for the rally scoring because the the serving matters, the returns matter, the third shots matter. Is that what it is? Like you don't want to give up that that edge. Well, I try to stay mentally engaged, but that's uh, sometimes easier said than done. But uh, no, I mean, there are ebbs and flows in every match. Um, it's really just who manages it better and in a better, in a, uh, in a quick format like this, you really have to, if you get cold for a couple points, you really have to try and turn that around pretty quickly. Um, and if you're hot, you have to try and capitalize on that. So I love it. Man, thank you so much, and we'll see you next round. Hey, thanks, Scott. All right, thank you. And we're going to get Noah over here. I'll step over here real quick. All right, we got Noah Waddell. Noah, that was a great three-game nail-biter right there. We enjoyed watching you guys battle it out. What's it like playing with the rally scoring for the first time? Did that play any factor into your game? I don't think it really played a factor. For me, it's just uh, being able to focus and like concentrate on the shots that I want to hit. And uh, today I was able to get some of those shots to, to go through, but um, at the end I wasn't able to – focus hard enough and Zane was able to outplay me and he did a great job. That's awesome. So so it wasn't the rally scoring wasn't a huge factor for you right now. Uh, was that your first match? That was my first match today. Okay man congratulations that was an awesome match to watch and uh, we'll see you at the next round. Alrighty. All right thanks buddy.